Karen writes, greetings, Collider crew. I know all of you see tons of movies each year, good and bad. My question is, has a movie ever been so bad that you have literally gotten <laughs> up out of your seat and walked out before the film was over? One of my favorite stories of this is one I just became aware of. It involves you and Mark Ellis. Are you Sex in the City too? No, no, oh, no. Okay. Um, uh, what was it? Uh, the, <laughs> was the one that they just did with... Um, uh, she's the cop. She, oh, uh, uh, pursuit, uh, pursuit, hot pursuit. Hot hot pursuit. pursuit. Oh, you guys are talking about Spicy Larry. <laughs> hot, hot pursuit. pursuit. Right, where right. I guess Christian and Mark were sitting. Mark was telling me the story the other day. Christian and Mark were sitting down, and about I don't know if it was halfway through the movie. Mark started to get up, and he turns to Christian and goes, "Hey, um, I'm going to go to the bathroom, and I'm not coming back." You wish he said it that nice. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, that nice? Um, I have only, honestly, I I love movies so much, and I have such a huge respect for filmmakers and whatever. That is very, very rare in my life that I get up and walk out of a movie. But it has happened to me three times. Uh, I think the first time it ever happened to me was that Jennifer Connelly horror film, Dark Water. Ooh, gross. Um, that it was just, and I love Jennifer Connelly. And it had the guy in it from Usual Suspects who played Kaiser Soze's lawyer. Uh, and I, I oh, can't, right, right, right. But he, and, and he passed away a few years ago. Very Kobayashi. Sadly. Yes, yeah, Kobayashi. Uh, yeah. Um, Dark Water, it was just so bad. I, I made it about three quarters of the way through that movie and I left. The second one I walked out of was Johnny Knoxville's uh, comedy about the Special Olympics, The Ringer. Mm. That's what the name of it. Now, I understood they had the best of intentions. They had the best of intentions. They meant no offense. They didn't. They, they had all the best motives of making that. But walking The Ringer, even though I know it wasn't what they were intending to do, that movie just so blatantly felt to me like they were making fun of handicapped people. Not fun with handicapped people. And that's what they were going for, is to make fun with them, to elevate them. That's what he was going for, and I get that. So I had no anger towards Johnny Knoxville, but it, I felt like they failed so badly, and it was just coming across as making fun of handicapped people, that I felt totally uncomfortable with, and about 40 minutes in the movie, I had to get up and walk out. The last one I walked out of, me and Soul Video, we went to see movie 47 and i don't know why i went to go see because i knew it looked bad but johnny he convinced me let, let's just go see it and we walked in 43 or 40, was it 43 or 40, i don't know now i thought it was 43 yeah you're right 47 is agent 47 yeah so uh, the important yeah, thing here is that it doesn't matter what it's called but right. we'll say it was 43 <laughs> yeah. movie 43 the, our first warning was that we walked in on its opening weekend we were the only two in the theater and we started watching it and it believe started with that hugh jackman skit where he had testicles on his yeah. neck and then it went to a bad, the bad Batman one. And it was like, I think I lasted less than 20 minutes. Mm. And I'm like, dude, I got to split. I can't watch this anymore. My life on my, the clock of my life is ticking away and I cannot spend it here. Yeah. So I got up. So those are the three for me, Dark Water, The Ringer, and movie 43 are the ones I've ever watched. Have you ever walked out of a film? Yes. And um, it's funny you bring up the Mark Ellis thing for the Hot Pursuit, but there's another one, and I mentioned it when you brought that up, was Sex in the City 2. is one of my favorite stories of all time where we don't, one of our rules is no phones. When we're in there, phones don't go on, phones don't, they, they're off. I don't like to be that guy blasting phones and disturbing people in the theater. So this is before we were going to press screenings and stuff, and we had seen Sex in the City 2. We are going to review it. You know, because I like to review everything. So we're, we're, we're watching it, and it was just, like, so bad. If you, our review of it, we lost it because everything was like a Fozzie the Bear joke after a while. Like, waka, waka, waka. You know, it was so bad. And then they go to Dubai, and this camera's Mark just disappears. And I'm like, okay, he's going to the bathroom or whatever, too. And he's gone. I'm like, where did he go? And I was like, I'm, I, I, all right, I'll check my phone. I don't want to do it. Again. And it, it's like a spy text. It's like, get out of there, man. Get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> With exclamation points. And I'm like... I didn't know why, but I just got up and ran and left out of the theater. I just couldn't take it. I felt like somebody was just punching me in the face like for no reason. Um, and then the other one was when I was like 11 or something. I went at uh, 12. I saw some movies with uh, my friends. We picked one movie at the like Dollar Theater and saw Bushwhacked with Daniel Stern. Oh, and my god! When, when you make when, when you walk a bunch of 11 and 12 year olds you're, and, and you're going for that really immature humor, you are bombing because we, that that should have been a movie we were all laughing our asses off, but right. we, we didn't. It was terrible. So um, I think those are the only ones I can really think of. I can if I answer for Mark. Mark walked out of the first uh, G.I. Joe movie. 
He was that. Really? Oh yeah. Oh, and the other one, the other one we both walked out of actually was a. Uh, oh man, it was, oh, what's the name of that movie? Shoot, I can. Uh, I'll, let me think about it, and then I'll, I'll get back to you. I remember what it was though. You know, have you ever walked out of anything? Surprisingly, only a few um, to come to mind. I've sat through ones that I. I, uh, that you wish you walked out. Yeah, of? <laughs> Sucker Punch was the one that is the most recent one where I actually went sat through all of it, but wanted to leave about one third of the way through, then halfway through, and then even like like at the seventy minute mark, I was like, <laughs> you know, I was like, this is such a horrible film, but I do want to see that third or I think it was the fourth dream within a dream within a dream. Right. So, you know, like those were great, those little things, and I was always felt like oh, if some nerd like would just cut those together, I could watch that on YouTube and feel happy about those 20 minutes. But the rest of the film was just just really hard to sit through. But I, I didn't walk out on that. The The film that I walked out on this year, I mean, I, I normally don't walk out on them. If I, I like I sat through City of Bones and mm -hmm. luckily it was one of those situations where it was just me and my friend. And we had the whole theater. So we were just cracking jokes and <laughs> laughing. I Frankenstein, I enjoyed its horribleness. You know, because right. once again, no one in the theater but me and six people were like t yelling at the screen. <laughs> That's kind of makes it fun and makes it endurable. Um, I walked out on Let's Be Cops this mm -hmm. year. Uh, because the trailer looked so funny. It was great trailers. And really I love those actors. <laughs> and the movie was so horrible <laughs> and treated the viewer so stupidly, like, you're so dumb. It was insulting. And we left. Me and my, uh, Holly, we left. Yeah. So it was like one uh, of those things. Year One was the movie. Oh, the, the late great yeah. Harold Ramis. That one wasn't one yeah. of his best, but I remember. And again, Jack sitting, Black <laughs> sitting with Ellis, and we were. We're Ellis turns and to me. Michael Sarah, like, right? He, yeah, Michael Sarah, and he goes, "Okay, if they make like a, 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 a what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas joke for wherever they were, we're leaving." And, and it happens with it, and then him saying that 30 seconds later a vegas joke and i'm like wow I just walked out yeah it was great so i'm curious like with all the movies you've gone to have you ever actually either got up and walked out of a movie and if you haven't what's the one you came closest to getting up and walking out of um well the one that comes to mind i'll never forget it either was i went to see rachel getting married with anne hathaway right. on my 17th birthday and um I did like was like me and a few of friends and it just come out it was like the opening weekend of it or something like that. And the camera, I remember like the camera movement, they're trying to do that, like make it look like a low budget indie film. And I think it was an independent film, yeah. but it made me so nauseous that I got up like, like probably like six times because I thought it was going to throw up from the camera moving wow. until eventually I was like, screw this, I'm leaving. Like, I can't. This is the worst birthday ever. And I left. <laughs> Pretty depressing movie, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what we were thinking. It's not a lift me up. I was going of, yeah. through a phase. I don't know. 